everyone, I'm the Computer Pro, and I'm going to show you how to pour forward your router the correct way. Since you're watching this video, I assume that you don't know your router username or password, and that's why you can't access it normally. So, what you're going to do to reset it to the defaults is you're going to find your reset button on your router, which for me is right there, that little circle. Look, you can barely see it behind this here power button. So you're going to push that in with a bent paper clip or a pen and hold it for 10 seconds. It might take a couple tries to actually find the button when you're pushing it in. You might miss. Um, but don't try to jam the paper clip or pen in too much because you could damage the router. And then let go and it will start blinking all the lights up and then, and then you should be good to go. Hello, this is the Computer Pro again. I'm on my computer now to show you the rest of the tutorial. So. First, you're going to want to access CMD, which on Windows 8, you just press the start button like I did, and type in CMD, and it should come up command prompt. Um, on Windows 7, it's pretty much the same thing. Just pretend this is the start menu on Windows 7. You can go to run, and then type in CMD. Uh, so from here, you're going to type in IP config, and find your default gateway. When you scroll all the way up, it should be 192.168.0.1 or 1.1 or 1.10, something like that. But whatever it is, you're going to put it into your um, address bar on your web browser. And then when you get to here, since you reset the router, it should say something like enter your new router username and then the password twice. You're going to have to write that down if you because that's pretty important for port forwarding now and in the future. So once you are done writing that down and putting it in and figuring all that out, you can put it into your uh, router login here. And then you should be in some kind of interface like this or something like that. Uh, for me, I have Verizon files, so this is what it looks like for Verizon. Um, different routers will have different kinds of web pages. Some will have tabs up here and like a title up here. For me, it's just like this little interface. Um, from here, you could go to wireless settings and like change all your router passcode and the SSID, which is pretty much the name of it. Then you could check all your devices on your network. And configuring all this is minutes. It takes like five minutes to do all this. So I'm going to go back to the main tab here, and you might have a port forwarding tab on your router web page, but for me, I have a quick link right here to port forwarding. And from here, you could go down to whichever computer you are forwarding, port forwarding onto. For me, it's my desktop, so alpha. And then we could go and scroll to custom ports, for me at least. And then you're going to leave the source ports as any, so that any port that anyone tries to connect to, this will be okay. Then you can choose your protocol, which is TCP or UDP, and unless you know exactly, specifically what it is, just leave it as both. And then you can choose the port you have to forward. For Minecraft, it would be 25565, um, and then just leave the rest as is, and you'd hit apply. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today, I hope it helped, and uh, like if it did, and subscribe for more videos like this, thank you.